Another Gaming News Insider confirmed September for the release date for Halo Infinite and some leaked information about BTB 2.0. But how legitimate are they? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So as we inch closer and closer to E3, some more leaks and information will be coming out about the presentation that we're going to be seeing on Sunday, June 13th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which we will be doing a live stream watch party on my Twitch channel. Link in the description down below, guys, if you guys want to come join the community over there and experience some awesome Halo reveals. I do stream Halo every Tuesday and Thursday evening as well. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos and want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well make sure you tap subscribe so let's get right into the content here so we have two bits of information to cover today we have one from jez corden confirming the september release as well as a btp 2.0 leak which could be real could not be real we'll dive into it and break it down and see how legitimate this really could be so let's start off with the hard news first i'm talking about with jez corden if you guys don't know who he is he is the senior editor at windows central where he primarily focuses on all things xbox gaming related and on his podcast that he does with rand althor 19 called xbox 2 they do a bit of a discussion of all the recent news and information in the recent podcast they go into some discussion about what they're gonna hopefully see e3 what they think they know or some insider information that they've been able to scrounge up throughout the coming weeks and they did actually mention Halo within this podcast as well. So I wanted to go over what they were talking about with you guys. So at one part of the segments that they were talking about, they started talking about Halo Infinite. And they mentioned about the rumored Halo Infinite release date happening in September, which was originally leaked by Colt Eastwood, who's another gaming news insider guy as well. And Jess confirms what they were talking about, saying that he's heard the same as well about a September release for Halo Infinite. Now, Jess could just be some guy, but one thing about Jess is that, yeah, he does have a very credible source of a position within a senior editor position at Windows Central. And also a commenter on the same Reddit thread mentions about how he felt about if Colt Eastwood talks about September release no one really cares if Jez talks about a September release then people start paying attention and this had 151 upvotes as well so a lot of people agree that Jez does seem to be a rather credible source of information that could we have a September release for Halo Infinite now the important thing to talk about when it's about leaks and information guys is not to be so focused on the exact details like a Halo Infinite release in September. They're probably referring to some probably big thing that people can interact with happening in September. My thoughts would be if they're going to release in the game in September, it would really leave like no time for the flighting process that we know is going to happen for Halo Infinite. And with game development, having more time to develop the game is better. And we've also had some previous bits of information coming from the voice of Master Chief and a new character voice actor in Halo Infinite, both confirming that they said that Halo Infinite's been pushed to a November release date as well as Bonnie Ross hinting at a November release when the new fall 2021 release timeframe was announced by 343 Industries. So all signs have been pointing towards November as well as the 20th anniversary happening that month as well. So I think what they might be talking about with the September release as probably when public flighting might start as that would be a proper time to have that all happen. So again, people's first chance to play the game might happen in September. That's where I'm really thinking this September release it might actually be. I mean, we've seen rumors as well talking about a demo available right after the E3 presentation, which would be totally hyped, yes, but then would also contradict the whole flighting process and what we've been told by 343 themselves and what their plan is when it comes to receiving fan feedback about Halo Infinite. And also, I wouldn't expect an announcement for the flighting process at E3. That's more, it's more of a technical participation by the community and not that big flashy thing to announce. Plus, if Microsoft and 343 announced like, hey, flighting process, go to halowaypoint.com to sign up to get your insider profile ready to go. How many people do you think are going to flood that website right as soon as that's announced? Tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people are going to be flooding the Halo Waypoint website. And do you think the Halo Waypoint website is set up to handle like 100,000 people all at once trying to get access and create accounts? 
probably not. It would most likely crash the website, cause much more of an issue, and probably would be much more of a bad PR move by Microsoft because of the technicality behind supporting that many people on a Halo Waypoint website all at once. So my assumption when it comes to the flighting process is that it's not going to be talked about at all during the E3 presentation, as that's much more meant to sell the game to you. And then on the corresponding blog update, which we most likely will receive as we have received a corresponding blog update the day of the reveals of Halo Infinite at E3, that will most likely give us an idea of when we can we expect public flighting to happen and how to sign up. And if that is true, you guarantee I will let you guys know on this channel. And the next bit of leaked information I've seen going around the internet, people have been talking about, and I kind of wanted to give my two cents in and try to either give credibility or completely shoot down this leak about the BTB mode in Halo Infinite. The leak reads as outline of the new Halo Infinite multiplayer mode showcasing at E3 2021. The new mode is a large scale and objective large player count 32 versus 32 teams will consist of groups of eight basically an evolution of big team battle. Again, the mode will be mainly objective in nature, territories, king of the hill, capture the flag, assault and elimination, which I think they're meaning by slayer in that case large maps and tons of vehicles including pelican and phantoms to move team around now first of all the english wasn't really exactly the best in this league so that does kind of ruin the credibility of it it also being a text in a bro trust me link does push down that credibility a bit more but there are some similarities that we have seen in this post compared to what we've seen from other credible leakers like clobril who first leaked the btb 2.0 mode a few months ago clobril who's a rather credible leaker noted this saying i know there won't be a battle royale mode to my limited knowledge instead the team is creating a btb 2.0 mode which is a better fit for halo including massively enhanced vehicular combat which we have seen confirmed in the sandbox inside infinite update squad spawning which talked about the eight player teams that we saw in that league and incoming pelican drops and many more surprises so while that text leak might not be the most credible thing i've read on the internet right now when it comes to halo news it does touch on a few things that we've heard about when it comes to halo's new big mode that's going to be in the game colt eastwood also mentioned about a battle field styled mode which would be a 32 versus 32 mode which was mentioned in that leak teams of eight meaning that would probably imply the squad spawning mechanic that cloberl mentioned though i do feel teams of eight would be a bit messy but depending how large these maps are you never know that could possibly make that work and the moving pelicans and phantoms and stuff like that could be referencing what cloberl was talking about the pelican drops and things like that but as we inch closer and closer to e3 i'm sure these leaks and information will be coming more and more available for us to go check out so if you guys want to stay up to date with everything going on with halo make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel or missed any content from me recently check out the videos on the screen right here i got a link to all my news and informational videos right there thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it i'll catch you on the next one peace out